Hello, V Team. It's me, V Mine, and welcome to Digi Gamings. And I'll be continuing Horizon Zero Dawn. Quick warning: this game is rated T, contains blood, drug reference, language, mild sexual themes, and violence. If you don't feel comfortable, I suggest you click off of this video and watch our other gameplay series with a little more rated E. Anyways, I am now heading off to here. So you come back to where we left off, I see. Take a seat at the campfire and we'll have that chat. Finally. Okay, buddy. How nice of you to finally drop by. Our purpose this night is to crash the focus network. Yeah, tell me the part I don't know. How? For starters, you'll need to infiltrate the Eclipse's main base. Wait, what? That's right. Fortunately for you, I brought you around to the back way. It's right through that crevice. Once you reach the base, you'll see the objective. A derelict tall neck that's been extensively modified. Climb the tall neck. Grafted into the top of its disk, you'll find a module of sorts. Destroy that and the Focus Network will crash. So you were part of the Eclipse? I've never been part of anything. I serve my own interests always. But it is the case that I assisted the Eclipse before I sensed the threat they might become. It was a mistake that I'm doing what I can to correct. What sort of assistance did you give them? Head through that crevice, Aloy. You have more important things to do than ask questions. We'll still ask questions about that once we're finished with this mission. Gonna be tight. Oh no. Corrupted machines. Held in reserve for a war yet to come. You have to get <laughs> the back way. 
I didn't say it would be easy. Fascinating, if they weren't looking for me. Explosions in the distance. Pay that no mind. Doesn't concern you.
Save these for the trail. Now. Fast. We need to get in and get it done before they raise an alarm. of a tall neck down there, but no tall neck. Damn. The transmitter's been moved. Check down the ravine to the left. Only place it could be. So much for your insider knowledge. Toward the explosions. Great. You got exactly one shot at this Aloy, so spare the sarcasm and make it count. You see that bridge over the ravine? Yeah. Memorize its location. There's a rappel point on the side. That'll be your way out. And these Eclipse Troopers? Avoid them, or kill them, your choice. The blasting should cover any noise you make. Find the Tall Neck and destroy the module on top. Here we go. It's been so long since I set eyes upon Meridian. Or even Sunfall, for that matter. This will be...
Might have a man down. One of us died over here. Look oh, out! Bye, quiet it's approach. Her. You will not escape the shadow. <laughs> Gift from the shadow. Is there fighting up ahead? No. It's a mining operation. So long as you're quick, it won't affect you. Oh, good. Another secret. data points. The mural of Meridian and the spire. When sleep refuses to come, I think of our wedding night. How you welcome me to the marital bed. How after, when you fell asleep, I lay there watching your delicate face. For all its beauty, I detested it. A rage swelled up inside me. I abhorred that bed. How its softness threatened to swallow us up. And that room, the stench of incense, the fine embroidery of the drapes, all of it weak. I slipped from the bed, threw open the casement, and lay naked on the stone floor, determined to spurn all seductions of comfort. Resume and turn the wheel of time would require more 
Lords and Sun and Faith. All forces must combine. All halves of nature join to one cause. Shadow to sun, night to day. Even a buried shadow wants the wheel to turn. For without a sun in the sky, there can be no shadow. My lord, the 13th king of the Karja Sundom was murdered. Cut down. My lord, the 13th king of the Karja Sundom was murdered. Cut down by cowards who mistook firm rule for madness. Ever the strong are to sit upon by the weak. So he said, as the traitors launched their assault, as their cannons forged by Asaram filth toppled the battlements and burst the gates. I would have fought to the end. But it was his will, the will of the sun, that I lead the prince and queen into the west, to safety. My lord did not hesitate. He saw his fate. He looked into the sun, and he did not blink. With me, he sent kestrels, nobles, sun priests, and slaves. Killing all that stood in the way, I carved a path to Sunfall. There, we joined others to gather the strength to take back our home. But our strength only faded until the buried shadow was brought to light. at Sunfall, coddled by his mother, he will never learn the true lessons of the sun. I have tried to instruct him, but the shadow of his mother's influence is upon him. I took him to the palace balcony to behold an offering of sacrifice in the ring, but he showed no thirst for it. He averted his gaze. Look to the sun, I told him. Do not shield your eyes. In all things, it is absolute. One day, it nurtures life, and the next, scorches life away. It burns the skin of champions and wretches alike. Never does the sun show pity. That is the example a Sun King must follow. The example of your father. But before my instruction could take hold, she was there. Clutching him to her robes, burying his face against her breast. How is a king to rule when he cannot even see? Every morning, I wake to the same nightmare. The same reality. Holy Meridian, in the hands of profligates. Debased. The Spire. Towering above the horizon like in a glittering spike through the center of my mind. Every daybreak in exile is a mark of failure. But the count of days runs thin. I will see Meridian retaken. The profligate slaughtered. A true king restored to the Mesa throne. In this, I have become an instrument of prophecy. There's only one man big enough to wear this. Hughes. This is his shelter. Alert. Irregular data flow near. Security may be compromised. and then get out fast as you can. Sure is a lot of blasting up there. Sounds busy. Busy enough not to notice you, let's hope. Alert. Irregular transmission source near. Alert. Irregular transmission source detected.
I see it. They built some kind of structure around it. Climb it. The sooner this is done, the better. I don't like this. It feels wrong. Everything here is wrong. Just get to the module and destroy it. How do they manage to keep this tall neck still? I know for a fact this is probably a trap. Because everything cannot be this easy. I see the module. Good. Now be quick. This... This is Hades? Aloy, this is not the time. It's... a metal devil. Open the module's casing, now. Aloy, do as I say or all is lost. You're tricking me. That's what it is. Okay, in hindsight, it probably should have just cut the wires. Instead of touching you with your physical hands. Entity cannot destroy me. I am beyond its reach. Maybe you are, but this isn't! Destroy the entity! Ah, oh, great. Well, down we go! Will do. going Are you kidding me? I really wish I could go faster. Come on. Don't fight. Keep moving. Are you kidding me? Got it. Almost out of it. Yeah, I noticed. Keep moving or you'll die. <laughs> I'm trying. Bridge in sight. That's the way out. I know. See you later, suckers. Ah, oh, he spoke too soon. Okay, that thing people's been talking about, specifically the corruption, is sentient. Great. I already thought it was just a glitch this entire time, but nope! It's a literal demon. Rough going, but you survived. You knew Hades was there and you sent me to him? I won't deny I risked your life, but it was the only way. Now, with the focus network down, we can both get what we want. 
Access to the secrets of Zero Dawn. I'm past trusting you with secrets. Good. That means you're wising up. Trust is for fools. It shifts and crumbles like sand. A poor foundation for any partnership. But mutual self-interest. Now that is a solid bedrock upon which you and I might build a new science of understanding. What are you we talking about, dude? And thanks to you, we're on the verge of grasping them. It's unfold. We'll speak again. You miserable... Damn him. Crash the Eclipse Network. If I toss this focus and be rid of you, Silence, so I would. But we both know I need it. Sunfall it is. And so I'm done. Again, that is not cool to trick me that way. You could have just said, like I, like I get it. Like I, I don't know their origins because you know different beliefs and you know since the generations uh, society collapsed, they have and you know restarted again. Therefore, people have new forms of beliefs, even though that's probably not the case and whatever. But like, seriously, I get you're trying to prove a point, but like, come on! What if I died and all this was all for naught? Or whatever the saying is. Then just saying all for nothing. Thanks for the history lesson. But they have no idea what lies beneath. We will learn much from this Aloy. That's what I'm hoping. The apostate started a war. Now they want us to sit on our...
What is going on here? Is this some kind of type of bullfighting or something? The sun ring. A proud tradition of culture. Stay off my focus. If the eclipse catches you here, you'll be lucky if you survive long enough to wind up in that ring. Now we get to see if your attack on their focus network was entirely successful. What are you talking about? Did I crash the success? Welcome to the Citadel, Aloy. I'll check back with you in a moment. In the meantime, circulate. <laughs> yeah, I feel like those guys are dead. Outlanders, if you want to hear about today's bounties, head for the throne room. You're not going to make any shards by standing out here. I'll take the shards, even if it means having to listen to Bahavas. I hear the Shadow Cards are looking for one of their own. Should pay well. Hey, look, I blend in with everyone else. By the glory of the sun revealed. Behold, Radiant Edaman, the one true Sun King, the light in shadow, whose will is light and whose light is law. He looks so young. I command Lucian Bahavas to speak in my behalf. By the will of Radiant Edaman does the sun glare down mercilessly upon the traitor Uthid. To the hunter who brings his head to us shall go a bounty of 500 shards. More prisoners than royalty, don't you think? Hmm. Love your hair. I'm worried if we make a friend they'll die. The green tent down in Shadowside? I'll be waiting. Kind of busy. Fled, and in doing so, demonstrated wanton disregard for the safety We both know you're no killer for hire. Uthid is innocent. So come see me while there's still time to save him. The will of the sun. So, the way in I spoke of is right behind you. You've got to be kidding. Not at all. And you needn't worry about the Kestrels. They'll be too busy acting important to pay attention to you. First time in the Citadel, gotta see the sun ring from on high. Well, the Kestrels. Ah, they want us to see this boy. It makes quite an impression. Start. Plain and simple. The balustrade. It's a short drop from there. Other side of the tower. Look for a vent. I see you've been here before. Obviously. Now, it's very important that you hear what I'm about to say. I've shown you the way in, but this humble vent marks a point of no return. Before you descend into the depths here, you should be fully committed, equipped, and focused. No distractions. If you have errands to run, do them first or hold your peace. I won't tolerate whining. Is that clear? You'll tolerate what I give you, Silence. I didn't ask you along for the ride. Okay, yeah, knowing how long this will probably take me... So she... Knowing these caves, I should probably get prepared.
Uh, yeah, I sh and also I should talk to her. While I'm at it. Your Queen Nasadi, little ones. Her Highness knows times are hard and helps when she can. Eat, but bring some home for your families if you have one. I've heard whispers about you rides machines, fancy spear, delightful freckles. Some even say you have a conscience. <laughs> How extraordinary! Who are you? You're obviously not one of the Shadow Karja. My name is Vanasha. For now, all you need to know is that I'm a whisper of reason in this howling pit of insanity. <sighs> I know how that feels. I'm so sure you're a person you with common and sense. And so does Uthid. He's a good man, so naturally the Shadow Karja want to murder him. I've done some digging, and I think he's headed for the Green Climb. It won't take those mercenaries long to find him. He could use some help, if you're so inclined. Stop being evasive and tell me who you really are. Stop being evasive? You might as well tell me to stop being charming. It's impossible, but I like you, so I'll tell you a secret. I have friends in Meridian, and I like to do favors for them when I can. Uthid might be of use to them, if he survives. Again, I completely forgot who is Uthid. How do you know Uthid is innocent? I'm excellent at making inquiries. Look, he feeds orphans from his own rations and personally punishes anyone who hurts the old or infirm. The idea that he would try to kill Edaman is ridiculous. He must have found something that can embarrass the priesthood. Otherwise, Bahavas wouldn't risk marking such a well-regarded man for death. What makes you think he's on the green climb? He knows he'll be pursued, so he needs a hideout that's both familiar and defensible. He once single-handedly held off an entire bandit clan in those foothills. My guess is that he'll fall back on what worked before. I'll do what I can for Uthid, but what about you? What about me what? What will you do while I risk my life? Useful things, little huntress. Look for three dead trees south of Sunfall. They mark the start of the green climb. Good luck. Now that's not so far.
Huh. I'm guessing I never noticed there were some areas I haven't discovered yet. Specifically, houses. Or, like, settlements. Spark. Name's Jira. I run this fine watering hole. I like what you've done with the place. Something troubling you, Jira? When the Karja Fort opened, I got word that my husband had come looking for me. But only the word made it to the fort. He didn't. You have a husband? Kendrick. Beat him in an arm wrestling match. I left him behind when I left the claim. Some metal sellers passed him at the bridge near the glare break. Seeing as you drift on the wind, little spark. If I'm out that way, I'll look for him, but... Do you want him to find you, Jira? Ever have those mornings when you wake up without all the answers? Still, I'll be heading up to the fort to resupply. Luck on your travels. I bet those traitors okay, I'm not sure how to react to that. <laughs> or interpret it. Okay, I'm going to have to end the video here. If you like what you see, leave a like, comment, subscribe, visit our TikTok or Instagram, even though we don't upload there that much, and share your friends if you like. See you in the next video!